Hi to you there, YouTube. So let's talk about my day. We will start at the beginning, at my job, where I went and dealt with one of the craziest mandatory Mondays I have ever dealt with. <clears throat> Why? I didn't move as many things as I've ever moved. I moved only like 10 items. But with me moving those 10 items and the other two people in my department working our butts off, we could not for some reason get done early. Or at least on time. We were almost late. And the only reason we got things done is because we kind of cut some uh, useless stuff out of the way and just got things like up and out of the way. It was a lot of issues though. A lot of issues. It became crazy. And it didn't stop once the morning rush was done. Because then, of course, the doors open up. And my goodness, there was a lot of people at my store today. I mean a lot. Yesterday we had a door of 800 people in the first 30 minutes. I am pretty sure we got pretty darn close this year as well for this day because, oh my God, there was a lot of people. I saw the tills stacked till halfway down the store today. It was momentous occasion. This is true, but it was scary, especially because then I was put on a till by myself with no assistant. And I'm like this. <laughs> I'm going to die. <clears throat> of course, I didn't die, and I did pretty well. And I managed to just keep by by the, uh, by the seat of my pants. Then, of course, that was for the first hour of my shift. Hour and, like, almost 15. So I get back from my break and an hour and a half, technically speaking, into my more, in my afternoon shift. So I only have an hour and a half left. I think, oh, I'm going to go back on till. No. I go and assist for somebody else. That, to me, I don't care about. I'm just like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. So then I'm just assisting, packing bags. I run by a homeschool family. That's always nice. When I find homeschoolers, I just I just feel like, yes, these are my people. Because I was homeschooled all my life. So it was really nice to talk to these people. They talked about their joys, loves. It was amazing. I then was called away from the tills. And I was asked to go get boxes. Because we haven't had boxes up front to pack groceries in. For roughly ooh, the three hours I've been working up front. So I'm like, ah, let's go get these things. So I end up, before I leave, getting like six or eight flatbeds full of boxes. They're like uh, these orange carts that are just like a flatbed. It's a flatbed with wheels. And it's really good to put boxes on. And they were stacked really high. Like this is my head height. They were like up to here. And I was, like, pushing them. And I was pushing two at a time. Because I wanted to get a lot over there. Because we had nothing for so long. So I unloaded all those boxes. And then I was basically done. So I just signed out and went home. And on my way home, it's getting really cold. So I'm, like, pumping the heat in my car. I'm like, oh, this is toasty. I feel warm and toasty. It was lovely. I felt like a Pop-Tart in a, in a toaster. Only instead of probably, probably just cooking on the inside, I was just like smoldering. It was like, hmm, this is nice. It was a nice car ride too. Barely any like bad drivers on the road today. It was very calm. No traffic. <clears throat> so, ride home was easy. When I get home, I am like, oh boy. I'm going to watch my shows. Because the new episode of Ruby's out, and there's also like a new episode of uh, When I Got Reincarnated in the Slime, and I'm like, yes, I'm going to watch these. And my God, am I excited. I saw the new episode of Ruby, and I was squealing. My mom was off in the corner. She was reading her book. Then she heard a few things. She started watching. She started making more comments than I did, and she's barely seen the show. And I was like, hee, 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 hee. Oh, you poor fool. You are not trapped. And I'm like, ooh, there's going to be so many good things going on in this season. I can't wait. Um, Then I just decided to uh, quickly do a workout, shower. I've started on my low-carb diet, no sugar diet. Doing good so far. I haven't done anything yet today that would count as sugar or high-carb. So, so far, so good. Now I just got to hopefully stick to it. If I stick to it, I should make it through. Fingers crossed. Anywho. 
Uh, we talked about loving ourselves today and uh, with the long-term goals, trying to figure out those long-term goals that will help us love ourselves. Me personally, I want a little bit more physique, uh, uh, sorry, uh, toned physique for my body. I also want to work on a few things with uh, my mind. I have a few issues regarding anger and depression and anxiety <clears throat> and something revolving around money that I have to learn about and deal with. So I'm slowly working on those issues uh, inside and out, and I will work on loving myself. It's not a short-term goal. These are long-term issues, and they have to deal with them. Long-term can also count for like three months, which is roughly the time it takes to get a good habit in place. Um, anywho, I hope you all had a wonderful Monday. I know I did, actually. And I will see you all in the video tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Until then, remember this. You're exactly the right person. You're going in the exact right direction. And I'm exactly. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.